Good evening, viewers. Railroad Mark here with a new, beautiful new railroad model update. Now, as you may see, this is my beautiful B17 class locomotive. Uh, some of the great features on this locomotive are so we have the NAM couplings, the metal handrail running around the actual train engine, uh, the safety valves there, they're metal, the whistle is metal. We have the beautiful nameplate there, and as you might see, that little brass thing on there is also separately fitted, and that's for the sandbox. That's a, like a, a cap for the sandbox, that's beautifully applied. The, num, num, the nameplate is also nicely applied there to the locomotive. Uh, the banding on the locomotive is very nicely applied to. Uh, on top of the locomotive there's no seam, so there's no visual seam. The seam is actually being put on the bottom of the locomotive, which is a tremendous thing. Uh, there's no inside valve gear here, because this locomotive, when it was produced, the valve gear wasn't at the front, the valve gear was in the middle of the locomotive to distribute the weight, the axle weight amongst the locomotive. Uh, also, the beautiful handrails underneath the cab of the window. You might notice we have the, uh, the glass in the window there, which is another great feature. Now the tender, we have the handrails on the, f on the front and rear of the tender. Also that the um, actual underframe is cast iron. That's very unusual, cast iron on the underframe just to give that uh, tender just a little bit more weight. Uh, now the chip is situated in the tender. You can see the wires running between the locomotive and the tender there. But unfortunately, there's no pickups on the tender. So just the six driving wheels on the tender, on the, on the locomotive, are the ones that are picking up the power. Uh, also on this locomotive, we have a fantastic amount of cab detail inside there. Uh, it's not painted, but there is a lot of cab detail inside this locomotive. I can't exactly, I'll try and show you. If I can get the angle right here, if you can see in there, there's a fair whack of cab detail in there. Now, if it was all painted up, it would look fantastic. So that's my beautiful B7. I'll just put her back on the track. Yep. Now, when the B17 was produced many years ago, it was built to replace the old aging B12 locomotive. Now, some of the holiday trains were getting very heavy and they were struggling with the extra load. So the B17 was produced to cope with the extra load. Now, they had to still had the restriction of the axle weight load. So this locomotive, when it was first built, uh, didn't have this large tender on it. It had the uh, B12 tender on it. So it helped with the weight distribution. And of course, these were a three cylinder locomotive. This third the inside cylinder was situated back, I think, on the, not don't quote me, but I think it was back on the second driving wheel. So it most probably enhances why you don't see any valve gear underneath the boiler because the actual uh, extra valve the inside cylinders were situated on the uh, middle driving wheel or the rear one. I can't remember which one, I think it's the middle driving wheel, to distribute the axle weight across the locomotive where the B17s had a 17, I think. These had an 18 ton, which was still just enough to get them by. Uh, you'll also notice on this locomotive, uh, the NEM couplings on the back, it has a handrail on the back of the tender also. Now this tender looks almost identical to the D49 class tender, just a little slight difference. I'll just show you the, the 49 class. Here she is here. She's sitting in there. She's tender's just a little bit, same tender, just a little bit different. Buying the thing, it's um, just a little cylinder there on top there. I don't know what that's for, but it's um, just that's the only difference between the two, the two tenders. <coughs> <coughs> uh, the lining around the like during the tender, you can see the double band lining around there. That's fantastic. Uh, compared to the B12, this one has a beautiful amount of um, lining around the tender, a double band on the boiler. Uh, the numbers here are edged on there, but uh, with the, the printing on it, but on this one here, the, uh, the, the L and the R is just very plainly applied. Uh, same with the running number, which is 2864. But that's it for me. Uh, it's a beautiful B17 locomotive. It's a railroad model, a very nice looking motor. Uh, you can buy this locomotive from AJM Railways, a free plug for them. It was $135 free postage to Australia. So you only pay the $135, there's no GST because you're buying direct, it's only you pay the GST if you go through eBay to buy anything, as you all know. Here in Australia, you pay the 10% GST. So it's worthwhile taking a look at AJM Railways website 
and some fantastic great buys here uh, through the railroad models and all their other locomotives are cheaper than anything you can find on eBay. So look them up, that's a great little plug for them. And that's from Railroad Mark, that's over and out, and I'll catch this and I'll do a few um, running sessions with these, this locomotive and my other uh, B12, D49, and my beautiful Flying Scotsman. So they're all the apple green locomotives that we run here on the layout later on, and I'll do a video on that. That's it for me, over and out, and good night, and thank you very much for watching.